Hey, my Nikki Boos. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss another video. So let's just get started. I'm going to start with this black um, in my Morphe palette. It's a really smoky color because I'm going for a dark, smoky cut crease. you want to make sure you're blending I find it easier if you just blend as you go along instead of just patting it all in just blend it as you go along so now I'm patting it in um, my outer eye because that's where I want it to be the most smoky So yeah, you're going to just make sure that you cover your whole eyelid with your transition color. This was something different for me. I've never used black as a transition color, but it turned out pretty good. I liked it. So I'm just using windshield wiper motions going in and out the inside, the outside of my eye just swiping back and forth and then I'm just gonna do the same for this side except I'm gonna speed it up Here I'm using a flat brush in order to carve out my cut crease and I'm using my NYX um, eyeshadow base or NYX whatever you prefer to call it and I'm going to also use my Sephora um, concealer and I was just trying something out because normally I just use the NYX but I'm gonna try I was trying something different and it worked okay but I really didn't have to do this so basically I'm just using my concealer as an eyeliner so that I can do this part look up to transfer the concealer right at my crease so that I'll know where I'm going to uh, cut the crease this is a very important step and if you can see here it's very very neatly done it's a very neat transfer so it's a great idea for beginners okay now so I'm just gonna take my NYX and I'm going to fill in I'm going to do my best to stay within the concealer and keep the line as perfect as it looks right now. I'm going to let you see this part in real time because the other eye will be fast forwarded so please play, pay very close attention to the way that this is done it's very simple and if you just keep practicing you'll get the hang of it I do feel like the NYX um, a little goes a long way same for Fenty concealer 
Um, I kept adding more and more because I was thinking that the wider my layer was, the more the makeup would pop, but I don't think that's necessary. I am going to do another uh, cut crease video with using just less just to try it out and see how that works. But as you can see, in my crease is getting very thick. So that's why I don't think that you need to use as much product as I'm doing right now. You can just use a little bit and a little bit goes a long way. So now I'm just doing the other side, except I did speed the video up just so we can move on. So I'm going to use my new palette, it's Fruit Sorbet, um, Violet Voss. I've never seen this company before, but this is my first time trying it, and I think it's okay for the price. So we're going with blue today, and I'm going to pull that blue out of the palette. That blue is kind of light, so I'm going to start with my inner corner. And this brush is a flat but fluffy brush that I'm using. So I'm just going to pat that in. I'm not being stingy. I am generous with how much product I pick up because I want a beautiful, bright, vibrant color and the goal is to transition from light to dark blue going into that smoky eye so that's what i'm doing right now This is the look we have so far. And now I'm going to go in with my Ruby Kiss. This is your drugstore eyeshadow. It may be labeled RK. You can get this from your neighborhood beauty supply, not drugstore. Your neighborhood beauty supply store. That's where I got mine from. And I'm doing the same thing, just patting it in, patting it directly on top of um, the concealer and eyeshadow primer. I'm patting it in without going over the light blue. So here I'm using that dark navy blue. I'm trying to work the transition. I'm pulling the navy blue all the way out to the cor to the outer corner of my eyes.
Here I'm just adding more of that light blue from the Sorbet palette because I just wanted that pretty light blue to pop a little bit more. This is what we have so far. Now I am packing in that blue, that really dark navy blue. And I'm using a clean brush to transition it all in together. So I'm just blending everything. Blending, blending, blending. Because you don't want any harsh lines. The only line you should see is that cut crease. Any other lines you would need to continue to blend and blend and blend until it goes away. So now I'm trying something different. This is a Sephora, blend, uh, Sephora brand eyeliner. And because those creases, I have those hood in my eyes, they're putting a really weird crease there. So I thought that I should play with it and go ahead and outline it. And so that's exactly what I'm about to do here. I liked it. It didn't look too bad. So now I'm going to use my black eyeliner, which is Sephora brand as well. And it is their black liquid liner. I love the applicator. I love how easy it is to use. And I'm just going to line my eyes as usual. So here I decided to take that blue and line over the top of the black. I told you guys, I'm playing with this eyeliner because I just don't know when I will be able to wear it. I don't wear it much, so I'm just laying it right on top of the black eyeliner. Now for lashes. I don't know which lashes these are, but they are doubles. Now I'm just cleaning up a little bit. Um, you could use concealer to outline this, uh, but I just want to clean it up uh, just a little bit so that my concealer doesn't have much work to do. Now I'm just applying my lashes. Um, I'm going to fast forward this part because it was kind of 
kind of bad though I didn't realize I was blocking the camera so let's move on Here I'm just using my Fenty Beauty foundation. Because this is about our cut crease look, I did fast forward this part. So it's going to go by really, really fast. Because um, this is not about the foundation part. I just, I recorded it, so I decided to use it. If you want to see pictures, they are at the end of the video. That was my uh, Fenty 370, and then this is my Fenty 360 concealer. So you can fast forward this part if you like. This is the brush that I use to blend my concealer, and the finished look is coming up, and I will have photos at the end of the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about this video and about this look. If you have some other tips for me, um, let me know in the comments and I will certainly try them out. If you know of some products that you would like for me to try out, I would be more than happy to because I have been playing in makeup and like really trying out new products trying to see what works best for my skin and the weather that I live in because I live in Vegas so I'm just like I'm open so whatever ideas you have bring them on right in the comment section here are the pictures I promised you guys I hope you enjoy them and I will see you in my next video bye